What's up guys, it's just Shaker Rude and in front of me is a brand spanking new 2018 F-150 Lorette. Now, I don't need to go on too much here because you guys know what this is. This is Ford's best-selling truck and pro I think it's the best-selling truck right now. So, if you don't know what an F-150 is, well, well, you might be in Europe, which... I understand some people in Europe don't really know about this truck, so let's give the history for those people who don't know what this thing is. This is Ford's light, the lightweight pickup truck that was introduced back in the 19, let's see, 80s, 60s, 70s? And here's why. We did have, they did have a good pickup truck called the F100, but it was skipping out in federal regulations for emissions, and the reason, I mean, they were trying to cheat and throw a gun like, uh, you need to quit doing this, Ford. I'm sorry. I mean, like, you, you always were going to sue you. And they're like, oh, crap. So what they did was they got rid of the F-100 and introduced F-150 that fixed that. And it's been, and this new F-150, his name, has been ringing for about 20, 20, 30 years. You know how long it is? So yeah, now they did hit F-150 while the F-100 was around, but it was the like the second highest, so F-100 was the lowest. Because of that federal regulation, they had to introduce a new version of F-150. Sorry, I know I just contradicted myself. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to history. Let's go with what's new for 2018. Just in case you guys, since you guys are familiar with the current generation, like, blah. So. Here is the new headlight design. I absolutely adore it. I mean, look at this thing. These are LED fog headlights and LED turn signal. Everything is LED. Just get used to it. If you don't I like LED, well, you can get a lower tram and you don't get LED. If you're one of those people, I like LED. But this, this thing is probably the most aggressive thing I've ever seen. I mean, look at this thing. Look how aggressive it is. I absolutely love the new design. I did like the old design, but to me, it wasn't... It was aggressive, but it just looked kind of, you know, modern. This looks in your face, and it's going to attack you. I mean, of course, the older one kind of did it if you stood, like, right here. But this makes it even more aggressive. I mean, I didn't know how Ford could do make it better, but they did. I mean, look at this thing. I like the new chamfering of the fog light design. I really like that. It's really nice. I like the new grills. They have seven new grill designs, which I really, really like. Because the old generation had a bunch of chrome, and a lot of people don't really like that. I do, but not everyone likes it. I do like this new grill. You have many options. You can get this style with the chrome. You can get this chrome. You can get this all, or all blacked out. It's just a black grill, which I like. It just depends on your taste. I prefer this or the black one because to me it just looks so aggressive. Right here is your camera for your foreign camera, which I want to show in just a sec. Ford Emblem. I, I love how they, I know how factories are making them smaller and trying to put on cameras, but I like how this truck has a big spanking Ford symbol because it, it's proud to be a Ford. Again, good headlights. These are the new, I believe, the new style. These are, I believe, 20 inches, 22, right around there. The good tire, good uh, one cook, hand cooked tires, pretty good for off road. Sorry, beautiful wheel design. I love the new design. Love the side guards. Love how it says Ford. Look at that good little detail, Ford. Now, I do would like to like it if Ford would put, like, right here, Ford, and then maybe here, or here, F-150, but that's just me. Flex field uh, gas pump, pretty nice. I like how you don't have an actual cap. That way, you can just put it in without having to do that stinking thing. And it does prevent dirt, because you have the little thing you really have to push in. Which I really like. I mean, look at this. They made it good. This is a capitalist. I love this design. Other brands need to do this. Chevy, you're watching? I'm talking to you. Nancy doing our am not totally okay, sure. Here is the big change for the rear end. I mean, look at this thing. F-150. 
I love that new design. Of course, when, when you got a Raptor, it says Raptor and Ford, which I do like, but to me, I like how they did this for just the regular F-150 and make it even better. I mean, the older design was good, but this is just amazing. I like how they did that. I like the new, I knew it like new to the light design. To me, it looks fresh, it looks modern, it looks good. Right here in here is your blind spot monitor and a bunch of other crazy crap. Now, if you don't get this package, these lights don't look like this. I'll show a picture of them in a sec what they look like. If you don't get that. I think it looks like the old version of that this year. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool feature about this truck is, look, let's move this real quick. This is an option the owner put on, so... I can. You do like it, sir. Mm. There we go. No. Mm. See? Stay. Stay. Okay, just I just it's going to roll. All right, to get in this truck, pull that down. Or, 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 or. I'll show you something really cool. Here is the key, the new key. I really like this new design. It feels good in your hand, not too bulky. It's much nicer. I sh the old key was nice, but to me, it looked cheap. I mean, it was a lot of plastic. This is plastic, which I do like nice and rugged. But look, aluminum buttons, black aluminum. It's nice. They finally made this thing look good. And watch this. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is so cool. And what's even cooler is this thing right here. Yeah. Look at that. Look how easy that was. Look at that. I love this thing. I love that step stool. Now, Ram and Chevy make it a little easier to get up on, but Ford has this. Look at this, an actual step. That supports it. Look, it's supporting me. Look at this. I weigh about 210, 215, and it's supporting me. Look at this. Now, probably one that holds a 700 pound person, but it can hold pretty much most weights. I like that. Ford finally made it easy to get in the same. Now, this is, this is making it really heavy. Oh, much lighter. Look at this. This is much lighter than the old one. This has a hydraulic tailgate lift that allows you to make it easy for you. I mean, look at this. This is not a lot heavy. The old one was so heavy because of this. Now, I don't know what they changed. I believe maybe this is all aluminum. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that. But it's much lighter weight. Let's go ahead and close this. Thing back so the owner doesn't get mad. All right, go around. FX4. Oh, this is the FX4 off road package, which I really, really like. It's really good. Now, no, no, on um, these new ones, you don't get the the little wheel liners, which help correct it. The owner that had a 2016 before, he took them off and he put the, the wheels on there. So if you have a 2016 or older and you plan on getting a 2018, be sure to take that wheel off. Cause trust me, you'll need it. Now, one thing I forgot to show you with the bed is this thing has a tough fin spread in bed lighter, which I think I showed. Let's go ahead and just show you guys real quick. This thing, there you go, show it on the lid. This thing right here is made with the little spray they spray on which allows for dirt and a bunch of other stuff to protect the metal. What it doesn't do is protect bents and punch and big punctures and stuff like that. It doesn't do that. So the owner had to get this to protect from the like things as we, he uses this for pretty much every day. All right, let's put this back up. Can't believe how loud that is. All right, you guys know what time it is. Let's get into this thing. It's so cold out here. And this thing does have feet seats, so if you don't mind me, I'm gonna try them on. Oh, look at that. All right, before we get in, let's talk about these, the touchless 
scheme. Now, as long as you have this beautiful key on you, you can lock the car without doing anything, without even having the key. So you can keep it in your pocket or in your purse or whatever. You just have it on you. Thanks, see. That locks it. Let's see. There we go, unlock, that unlock. When you touch right here, the little center, that unlocks it. Now only this, I believe it's only this door. Yes. Now you can set it to do all doors or one door. By default, it's just one door. All right. Let's show you guys the engine and remote start. Let's remote start first. Let's remote start first. So remote start it. Let's make sure the door is closed. You lock it. And then to remote start, you press this button right here. Look at that! And you turn it off. To kill it, press the same button. That's really nice. All right, now let's get. Let's show you the hood. Now you have many different options for this new truck. Well, engine, engine options for it. You have the EcoBoost, you have the V6, you have the, oh, pretty. oh, look at that! Look at that! That was like a hydraulic lift up. Look at that, I like that. The other one, you really had to go it up. Wow! Ford, you've done a good job. But this is the beautiful, naturally aspirated, I want to say it's a 5 0. Don't comment on that. I'm going to look it up just a second. Beautiful V, but oh no, it's a V8. I mean, look at the thing. It's huge. It's a good. This makes about, I want to say almost 400 horsepower and about almost that much amount of truck. I'll show the specs in the description. Come here. But look at this hood. Look at that. All right, let's make sure I close that. There we go. All right, let's get in this baby. That's a good feature for that hood. All right, ooh, nice new nether. Sorry, she's a little dirty, but the owner uses this constantly. All right, the start this car, as any other car in modern nowadays, pulling the brake, Press that big button. Move that wheel a little bit. Now, they haven't changed anything as in the interior design. I think 2016. So, if you have a 2016, 2015, you know, or 2017, and you want a new interior, don't get this truck. Because this, they haven't done anything. But they did, they did add a couple of things to it. Let me show you. Now, we added the... Lane departure, see right, right there. That's the lane departure. That's the park assist, which we're not gonna show right now because we're not in the parking lot. And we have heat seats, and they have cameras. Let's, here's the big thing we added, 360 camera. Look at that. Now, I like the Volvo's cameras a little bit better. Now by you guys probably say, that's an SUV, and that's a luxury car. This is a truck. Well, these things have so much crap in them that I it's literally a luxury truck, so I'm comparing it. Deal with it. So yeah, this is a pretty good system. My the owner doesn't really like how this is, how you can't do all angles, which is nice. But I like I like how it does show everything right here. But I like being able to like show a certain angle, like the Chrysler. You could easily show it, all these different angles of any side you wanted. I don't know why they didn't have that because you can see they have all the sides you can that looks like you probably switch to it, but you can't. I don't know why they did that. That's that's just it. You just deal with it. But you can change some angles. That's the front. Like I showed the car a little bit ago. That's the back. And navigation. Oh yeah, I do like how they do have a button for you to see. That way, here, front park or something. 
Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you other things on the same. If you give me a second, I am going to pause. I want to take this off, you guys, off my chest so we can zoom in a little bit. All right, we're back. Let's go in this closest cool area. Get out of this camera. Navigation. Pretty nice. This is the Sing 3, which has pretty much everything. It's pretty, you can see, it's pretty good. I've used better navigation systems, but this is pretty good for what it is. As you can see right here, you have a heat and sear, which feels pretty nice right now. Oh, that feels so good. You have tracking control, tracking control off, uh, the decline, the decline, blah, height decline, and you have the auto stop start. What that does, if you're on, if you stop, it'll shut off, if you're not doing anything, it'll shut off the engine. Which can be a little annoying if you're in like a drive through and you're trying to pay and you uh, need to turn around a corner or something like that. You can't because the engines aren't running. So that's a little quirk that Ford needs to work out, but they're working on it. So yeah. So, now this is a pretty big console. The owner has kindly asked me not to show the insides, which I'm, I, I want to respect. But I'm going to tell you it is pretty big. Much bigger than you might think, which is pretty nice. I mean, I would use this thing every day. I won't be able to store whatever I want. Now you have a glove box in there, which is pretty nice. I like this design. This is this was in the 2016s. Now, 2015, blah, 2017. Pretty nice. The big change for 2018 is that nice audio system. Before, that wasn't really anything, but now it's a B and B RMBO. I forget, I forget what's called premium audio system. Now I don't have my CD with me to show you guys the audio system just yet, so I will, I will check it out in another time. But for now, let's move on to this center display. Look at that! Look at that! Good V. Good V. Good gauges. Not too sporty. I like the Rams a little bit better, but this is pretty nice for where it is. It's black. It's got some blue. Got nice, some nice highlights. You have trailer, all your trailer stuff. This one tells you your trail to connected. Which when you get it, you get these little stickers to hunt it, and that's how it knows. Hill decline, prior distribution. If you want to see that? Which we are going to show how this works when I'm when we're driving this. Off road status, which is really cool. I love this feature. This was in the old one. Well, I guess what? I guess 2015, 2016 models in 2017 but it's pretty good settings blind spot driver blind spot, driver alert dt line keeps the same you know basic stuff the gardener has kindly asked me not to view them which i can understand engine information pretty no you know digital speedometer which we are going to use uh tire pressure it's your basic stuff i like the um the rams configure a bit better you could really use this screen and can really it's like a little computer like a little computer or like a like a phone where you can really put app something one thing there one thing there i really like that but this is pretty good for for did this has a 36 gallon tank so you get good bound miles uh let's move over back over here sorry i got a little sidetrack let's go to home it's pretty simple. You have your audio. Ah, ah. Sorry about that. Didn't realize it was on. Yeah, when I click audio, it automatically turns it on. So, if you're recording like me, don't press that button. Climate, it's basic stuff. Now, this vehicle, well, this year vehicle did have heat uh, massage sheets. But this, this, this particular model does not have that. If you did have it, you would go in through here and it would say advance or something like that, and you could easily do it. This doesn't have that, so that's sorry about that. You get what I get? You get connect, uh, connect your phone, add phone, now apps. You got Sirius XM, Fire Mobile apps. So if you connect your phone, you can get your apps on there. Settings. Now, one thing for change about this, which I didn't really like, was the ambient lighting system. You still have it, it's just you can't change the color. The other one, you had like 160 different colors. I like that, it was nice. You can get orange, green, whatever you wanted. 
This one doesn't do that. You can even change the brightness. The brightness. It's very, not very bright, which it's nice, but I mean, come on, Ford, don't take that away. I don't know why they did that. Maybe the people were using that one color. I don't know. But to me, if you're going to take that color, take away the, don't take away completely the last Do some minor settings, which is okay. But that's just me. CD player. Not many people use CDs. I do. So that's going to be good. That's be good for, that'll be good for me. We got your different off-road settings, which we are going to put it in 2x4 for now when we drive it. But when we're in off-road, we're going to put it in 4x4. Trailer backup. So if you're in the trailer, you can easily use this. That as well. And let me know which other's not active. Now, how that works is you have to register the trailer to the computer. And then it follows those lines on the little sick on the stickers of the trailer to tell you where it's going and all that which is really useful but if you it can be a little confusing how to work it i don't know how to work it at this, at this time so all right now this car this truck could have gotten a full roof sunroof the, the the owner did have one before that did have that, but he rarely used it, so he decided not to get that, which is fine. But he, but all trucks, I believe, get this mod option. You can see it right there, that beautiful little back end if you want to hear the engine or other things or check something back there, which is pretty useful. Pretty useful. Pretty useful. Pretty basic stuff. You have your auto auto power windows it's 2018 guys all right the 2018 you expect to have that now one thing ford has that no other brand has i don't know if you can see it little lights on the mirror let's see if you can see it i don't know if you can sorry it's pretty good pretty basic stuff now this truck does have an automatic brake not like a electric braking pedal Let's start with parking brake. Blah. What's wrong with me today? Well, electric parking brake to where you push, you you press in, it and does it, which is pretty nice. To me, the old one have it all where you're like right there and push really hard to get there. I like how you don't have a little button, a little flap. Now, some cars like a sport car or an off-roader that you really want like drift, you can't do that, and I don't like that. But for this kind of vehicle, I like that. It's electric. All right, let's move to the back to show you stuff back there. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, this, this is such a nice truck. Four, you've done a good job so far. All right. As I said, it's locked. Sorry, sometimes the computer's a little... I hear you. That's a truck lining on that you take, you left a truck on, and then you're taking the key with you, which is really pretty useful. Because a lot of times you can for, you can walk away with the truck being on, not even realizing it, and you can have you can never know you're wasting gas. So I like how it does that. Now for me, if I, if I were just driving this car, usually I would probably know us know if the truck was on. You can you can hear it. If this car was a truck was electric, that would be very very useful because you can hardly know if the truck's on or not if it's electric. But since this is not electric and it's got a V8, I'm pretty sure you can tell if it's on or not. I don't know. Can you guys tell it's on? I don't know. I think I think it's off. I think it's I think this must be an electric car. All right, back over here. Rear heated seats. Ah, slipping. Sorry. Rear heated seats, which is amazing, and I love that feature. And uh, why? Uh, one thing I don't like about the about it, it's, it's not as good as the front seats, which kind of makes sense. And it doesn't have cooled seats. Now you're saying, like, no vehicle has rear cooled seats. Uh, hello, Ram has it now. The new Ram has rear cooled seats. So I'm like, Ford, get it. Ford, if Chrysler can do it, you can do it. And if you can do it, so can Chevy. So come on, guys, get with it. Ram's beating you. Look at all these good feet. You have, look at this. Multiple ways to charge crap. I love this. You got two charge ports for USB for phone. You got your little AC for your computers and all this stuff. And you got a 12 volt outlet for car stuff. That's, that's just insane. This is amazing. That way no one's fighting over a thing. Now I ride a lot in my mom, 
my mom's sand a lot and we always are fighting over our port. I like how you don't have to fight for literally gives you like so much. Look at this. Now, if, if you have probably like five kids or six kids, probably could fight over, you could probably easily fight over it. But look at that. Let's open back up again. Let's see. Timmy can have that. Bobby can have that. And Sarah and Julie can have those. It's pretty good. All right, let's drive this thing. Uh, back to the warm heat in here. All right. I hear ya, I hear ya. All right. Put you guys all nice and snug. Come on. All right, time to drive the new F-150. I moved the camera a little bit all up on my chest. That way you can see the gauges a little bit better. Let me know if you like this angle. Or not, or if you want a different angle, you want lower or upper or something like that, let me know. All right, for now, let's put this in. I think we need, we don't really need speedometer that much because we're not on pop, we're on a good remote. We're on off road right now, so I don't really think that. So let's get something that we do need off road starter. There we go. I'll show you how this works. First, let's back this baby up. Ooh. Sorry, I got to have to do that. Ooh, check this out. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, here's how you turn the park brake. You press the brake in, and then you push the button in to put it up. You pull it. Okay, there we go. A little fun to get used to. All right, let's pack this baby up. Slowly back it up. All right. We're not gonna go too far in this because you don't want too many miles and we don't want too much dirt on this while I'm getting used to it. Be very, very careful. This is his new toy. I want to be careful with it. Let's use these cameras and... So I'm not talking too much. I'm trying to be very, 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 very careful not to scratch this beautiful gray paint. Through there. Behind that. I love this camera. All right, I think we're good. Pop it in the drive. Look at that, guys. 10 speeds. 10 speeds. Ow. This is a 10 speed transmission, and I want to see what that feels like. All right, turn her. Oh, look at that. 34 degrees. This is so cool. Ooh. Oh, wow, it's showing you the power distribution. Wow. This is really cool. Wow. Now, I'm not going to floor this puppy, man, because we're on off-road, and we probably shouldn't do that. I would get a little bit of gas, just to say, just to see, give it, makes a little bit of noise. So far, this thing is doing amazing off-road. Look at this thing. It's a, it's like. So I had to turn the auto stop start because it might interfere with me going up this hill. All right. Wake you guys up a little bit. Ooh, good, nice hill. So far, doing so good. Doing so good. This thing is a king. Look at this. He does not care what you put it over. Oh, nice. 
I love the way this thing feels. One thing I've always loved about F-150s, they make you feel like a king. <laughs> now the Ram did that too, but this, oh, it's big, it's wide, it's got a V8, it's a monstrous. Oh, I like the way this thing feels. <laughs> I like the power distribution. No, but I love this off road status button. More, com more companies need to put that in there. I believe Ram and Chevy have a similar feature of that, but I don't know if it's as easy to look on like this. I don't know. Well, yeah, Sarah does not uh, go in a declination. Look at that. This is very easy off road, which is. Which I expect because this is a 4x4, not just a sport, a 4x4 truck. If this thing can't handle all 4 4 this is, it is not a truck. I'm sorry. That is a car with a bay. This is a good truck. This is nice. Pretty nice. So I'm not going too fast. I want to be sh keep this nice paint all nice and clean. All right. Let's keep a tiny bit. Whoa. Whoa. This thing takes off. Wow. Wow. What a beast. She's a beast. Wow, be careful with this, guys. Be careful with this. Is. I've had some people tell me they get tickets when driving these things, which I can expect because this thing gets up and goes like nope, something else. All right, we got nice hay bales. Oh, this is such a nice truck to drive. I feel like a king. I can do anything. So it does in the turnaround. Popping in the 4x4 auto. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Just kick it off. Look at that. Look at that. This is really, really cool. I love the Mr. Drives. Now I have driven a 2012 and a 2016, and this this one feels a lot better than the 2016, but very very similar. That it's almost identical. My off road rise, the suspension is much better than the new one. The old one was very, how do I say, bumpy, and they're rocking around. It was a it was it was a ride, but it was just. Man, how smooth it is. This is very smooth. All right, let's give up. Let's give a little bit of gas. Let's give a little bit of speed. A little bit of speed, not too much. Okay, there we go. There's the mumps. No, not too bad though. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's a little bumpy, but that's because I'm going a little bit faster. But not too bad. Not too bad at all. This is a good truck. I like the way this thing drives. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 I love this truck. Uh, this that V8 is very responsive. <laughs> I, of course, you guys know I love V8s. They're very, they're very practical. They're very responsive, and they love to get up and go. Just give a little bit of gas, like oh, that's fun. I love this, and this truck is no, no exception. Uh, this thing is such a nice truck to drive. Much better than the old one. It drives now. It drives similar. So if you guys are saying, "Oh, it's going to drive so different," not exactly. It just drives a lot of things about it that were wrong with the old one. This one drives better, like the suspension. This thing is much better. It handles the alpha much better. The systems are much better. Electronics are much better. This blind spot monitor is significantly better than the old one. The other one kept. That detecting and you can't really use that much. This is much more reliable. This is a very fun truck to drive. 
Thank you, so I just want to thank, thank you so much for the arm for allowing me driving this beautiful 2018 F-150. And if you want to, if you want to come buy a truck like this, not this one, because this one is bought. If you want to buy a truck, if you want this model, or you just want the new F-150 runner, go to our two dealers for you. You can go depending on where you live. If you live in Buford area or Flower Branch, I highly recommend going to Green Ford. They're a really good dealership. You can easily get one of these, no problem. Or if you live in Swanee, I highly, that's not Swanee, Shamley, I highly recommend going to Jim Tidwell. They're a very good dealership. And this is where this truck is from, so I highly recommend that. I'll take care of you. I don't have many people there to recommend from Jim Tidwell because I they personally don't know me, but be sure to, if you do go there, be sure to say my name. Let know, hey, just check your reset, set, man. I know that, or just love me know that, hey, they gave you, I'm here because of Jace Jacob or something like that, and they can probably work out a little way to give you a good deal. I know Hayes does it. Now, Green Ford, I do have somebody. I believe his name is Josh Cody. Yes, yeah, it's been awesome, man. And we uh, hung out. So, just go, just go to him or just go to Green Ford if you're near that area. Be, again, say my name. What that does is that allows me to get more awareness of the channel and it allows me, I get a referral fee, which helps out the channel. So if you want to help the channel, go buy a vehicle for one of those dealers. <clears throat> or just let me know, hey, is it just some, some really cool guy that was giving you good, good praise? You just do that, that helps out as well. So besides that, this truck is amazing. I love the way this thing drives. Now, compared to the Chevy and comparing and the Ram, I like the, the looks of the new Ram much better than this. I'm sorry, Ford lovers. I love this Ford, but the Ram, I like the interior way better than this. I mean, this is pretty nice, but it's old. It looks like, it looks like it's 25 years compared to the Ram. That's why I got truck of the year. Now, looks-wise, I think all the Chevy and the Ford and the Ram, they, to me, they look equally good. I like them. To me, there's a lot, the things I like about each of them better. They're very aggressive and very practical. Now, if I had to choose between the three, now I've driven the new F-150. I'm sorry, Ford guys. I think I would probably want to drive the Ram just because of that whopping new interior. I love that interior. But... If you're not really too hot on that new interior and you like this one, get this for it because these drives are so similar. Now, the Chevy, I haven't driven yet. I need to drive the Chevy to see how that feels. And the GMC Denali. So, got a lot of stuff to do. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a, Be sure to leave a like and a comment. What else you want me to do and other stuff. So, yeah, I really like this truck. If I miss something, please let me know and I can answer a question. I'm... Again, I'm here when I miss things. But, yep, yeah, I do like the way this drives. Hope to see you guys next video. All right, time for the honest review. All right, guys. Sorry this video is a little long. I really it's had a lot to talk about, and I really enjoy the truck. It's an amazing truck. It, I feel like a king when I'm driving this truck. It's an amazing thing to drive. I mean, I can't believe how much fun it is to drive. Yeah, I drove, like I said, I drove a 2012 and a 2016. I love them so much. They were really, really fun truck to drive through for the time to me they were the best truck you could get at the time but now now that we have the new ram we got the new chevy and all that to me so ford needs to step up their game just a little bit because i really do like the ford i, I think it has plenty of potential it's a good truck it, it it's the king it knows what it does to me, it's a company that knows that they can make a ridiculously good truck and beat everyone out there. I know they can. I know they've done it for so many years. But now we have a new Ram, we have a new Chevy, and all those good-looking trucks that are we're really giving Ford for the run for me, which I really like. To me, I don't want just one brand taking over all the sales. I want a good, good mixture of different stuff. That way, all brands have good, have something good and bad of each brand that you can choose. So yeah. I really like the truck. It's an amazing truck to drive. My favorite things about it, well, blind spot monitor, all the things they improved, uh, all the new the new redesign of all, well, not redesign, refreshed of all the grill, the new grill, the the hub being light, lighter, the the tailgate being significantly lighter. I can't believe it's lighter. The hydraulic 
Huh, the president just flew up so? I mean, that's crazy. I know a lot of fancy sport cars that they close it. You can slightly, gently close the hood and it closes it for you. But then something's like, yo, I want it for you. Here you go, big boy. Take a look at my engine. Ha, <sighs> how's it going? That's, that's kind of what the truck is saying. It's like, it wants you to look at its beautiful V8. It's like, I'm happy to have my V8, so I'm happy for you to come look at it. That's what I love about that truck. It's it literally, that's what it says. And then when the driver's like, Move out of the way. The king is coming. He is coming. I he move out of his way. I'm just kidding. That's not what it says. But really, you feel like a, I feel like a king when I'm driving that truck. I feel like I can go anywhere and not care in the world. I'm, I'm like I'm the big bull, big shot here. Move out of my way. You know what I mean? That's kind of what that truck gives. And and if you don't, I'll, I'll make a power. That's kind of what I like about that V8. Now, all the other en engines are really good for the options, like the V6, these are good, really good, powerful, the D the turbo diesel, which is really good for a diesel, I mean, that thing's insane. I did, got a ride in one a few few months ago, and that thing was crazy, but, at the end of the day, it's nothing, it's not better than the Big Brother V8, I mean, V8 has proven time and time and again that it can do what it's made to do. And that's why I would choose to be this model over all the F one fifties. But if I had to choose if I didn't if I choose between all the three competitors, Ford, Chevy, and Ford, and Dodge, or I guess Ram, I would choose the Ram. Mainly because I like the new interior. The interior of the Ram, if you guys haven't seen the new one yet, it's beyond comparison to the F one fifty. The F one fifty is really good, but Therefore, the Ram did some, they made something that no one has ever done. They went out of the way, which I really like. So, all Ford has to do is go out of the way again with the new, just refresh the interior and make it nice. Put, and a couple of things, just really do something that no one has done yet. At, or, or, or maybe you was going to, but they forbid them. Just do something like that, and you'll blow them away. Audi did it time after time after again with all their technology. You know why so many people copy them? Because they did it first, like, Oh, you couple, yes, of course you would. I am LD. I know what I'm doing. That's what I, that's what I like about these brands. They they really like showing everybody like, yo, I'm look who, I'm I'm the biggest, I'm the biggest, and I'm the best, and here's why. That's what I like about that. But if you really think about it, all three brands have their pros and cons. So so really, if you're a loyal fan of each brand, I highly understand you. You're perfectly fine with buying. That that branch truck, but if you're someone like me who likes all three of them, choose which one you like best. Cause believe me, they're some they're so different now. They're very fun to drive, and each of them is going to give you a different experience. So if you're in the market for a brand new truck, be sure to drive all three of them before you buy. It. Cause trust me, one of them will speak out to you. And if you don't like any of them, that's fine. Don't get that. Don't. Get an American one. Get a Japanese. They're pretty good too, and they're reliable. You can have them for years. These, not so much, but it's an American truck, and everybody likes American trucks. So, oh, I know. I love this truck. I hope hope you guys enjoyed this beer. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. I got a lot more coming. As always, if you're interested in this truck, well, well, the new F-150. This truck is bought. If you're interested, go to Jim Tidwell Ford or Green Ford. As I mentioned before, they're really good dealerships, and they're really good what they do. Mention my name, and they'll give you a good deal. Hopefully. They don't really know me, but I'm sure they can work out some deal because someone giving them free address. What that does is it also gives me a referral for you. That way, you can help out, that way I can get some money to help out the channel. I mean, don't you guys want better videos and more stuff? Exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah, just be sure to like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys next video. See you later.